Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to install a data pack called Dungeon Now Loading onto your server. There will be timestamps in the description if you wish to jump to a specific part. With this data pack, there are now 10 new vanilla like structures. We found one! 10 new unique bosses. The boss. Oh, there's three of them! One. New advancements. We got a checkpoint. Custom items. You just released a bunch of spooky mobs. And a new health system. When you defeat a boss, it may drop a food item with the word forbidden on it. If you eat these foods, you'll gain an extra heart above your health bar. And some smaller pink hearts will appear. You can fill the pink heart containers by eating more forbidden foods. If the pink heart containers are filled, you will gain another full heart. But as you gain more health, it becomes more difficult to obtain the next one, since the number of required pink hearts increases. If you want to speed up the process of gaining more health, you can face the stronger bosses that drop forbidden items. Those will give you more of the pink hearts. The maximum health you can get through the system is 20 full hearts. On the official download page, there is more information about each boss and tips on how to defeat them. There is also information about the structures in this data pack and where you'll be able to find them. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down to where it says download data pack and once you click it, if it opens a new window, you simply have to wait for the ad to finish for the file to be downloaded. Below it, you'll see that there is also a required resource pack download button. You'll just have to press it and click the button that appears below it. To make the next step easier, make sure you move this dungeon now loading file to a place where you can easily access. For example, your desktop. Firstly, you're going to want to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. At the moment, the data pack version is 1.17.1, however, this may change in the future, so please check before continuing. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Afterwards, head over to the Files tab. Here you'll see a couple different files, but the only thing we need to do right now is open up the World folder, and then the Data Packs folder. Click the upload button in the top right, select file and navigate to the area you saved the dungeon now loading zip to. Then simply press open and upload. It'll take a couple seconds for the files to upload. However, when it's done, you want to head over to the console tab on the left. For this step, you'll have to turn on your server first. Wait for the commands to stop coming through and then type in slash reload. You'll know it's worked when it says loaded advancements. At the Files tab, you'll now have to open up the server.properties file. Here, you'll want to look for line 32, and after the equals, paste the link of the required resource pack. What we've done is uploaded that resource pack to our Dropbox, so if you'd like, you can use our link which can be found in the description. But make sure to save file to confirm the changes, and then head over to the dashboard to turn your server on. Keep in mind that you will have to copy this host name and paste it into the multiplayer section of Minecraft in order to join the server. Your friends will also have to type it in if they want to join you. Upon entering the world, you'll be prompted with the resource pack pop-up. We recommend selecting yes so the resource pack is instantly enabled every time you log back onto the server. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you want to see more from my channel, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.